We know two things about death. One, when you die, your soul goes to heaven. Two, the video games are awesome in heaven. But what happens when you mix the two? What happens when you put a little Al Green in a video game? Well, you get soul. Here's the femme fatale with a look. From Kaido Studios, makers of indie games My Band and Lumi, comes another crowd pleaser, Soul, which can be purchased on the XBL marketplace under the indie games category. So the gist of this game is pretty simple. You're a dead man's soul, a pretty blue ball of flame, and you must direct it through difficult mazes of hell to reach heaven. You must avoid scary monsters with gaping maws, ready to literally eat your soul for breakfast. And don't even think of touching any edges or objects, for you will explode and have to start at the beginning of the maze. These mazes are not easy, and if you're anything like me, you will find yourself in numerous fits of serious game rage during the really tough stages that I promise you will have to attempt more than once. The backdrop of the mazes include a very unique comic book looking background with eerie lighting and scenery to perfectly fit the feeling of traveling through what very well could be hell to get to heaven. The music that accompanies you throughout the game reminds me of Halloween and actually did leave me feeling uncomfortable and on edge. You have the choice of hardcore mode, normal and wimp. Even wimp is not easy, but normal seemed to be the perfect challenge. I didn't find any of the levels to be too repetitive as you're always exposed to something new. One level you'll be in complete darkness with only the light of your flame to guide you and the next you'll find yourself in sewer pipes racing against the rushing water that threatens to douse your flame. There's also a scare factor to some of these mazes. You know when you get those emails that say, watch this and turn your speakers up real loud and then some crazy looking dark haired zombie broad pops out at you? Yeah, that tends to happen in a few of these levels. What's nice about this game is that when you get eaten by a monster or explode into the edge of a wall, you do have maximum lives and just continually start at the beginning of the maze after each death. What's extremely lame about this game is that you only have a pause option and no save. No save! So if mom calls you for dinner and makes you turn off the box, you're in so much trouble. As if you're going to want to go back to the very first level and remaster all the super hard ones. That really deterred me from finishing the game, so I strongly suggest that you put a lot of time aside to get through the entire game in one sitting. Soul is fun to play a few times and fun to show your pals. If you're a puzzle freak and you like games like Exit, you may really enjoy this challenging game with a twisted scare element. I give Soul 7 out of 10 solely because of the no save option. Yeah, I just right off the top of my head.